Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorBike.com. I'm in kind of a unique place today to find out about what I think is, if not the most, one of the most stressful jobs driving a tractor that anyone could have. In the background here is Oaklawn Race Park in Hot Springs, Arkansas, and I'm at the Arkansas Derby, a major horse race in my area. I've never been to a horse race, and I'm not here to see horses. I, I like horses okay, but I'm not fanatical about them. But I've been watching the horse races ever since I was a kid, and I always wondered, what happens if the gate doesn't go away? You know, on these longer races, the track will be like a mile. They'll start the horses out from the gate, and then while they're running around the track, they got to get that gate out of the way. And most of the tracks I've ever seen use a tractor to do that. And I've always wondered what it's like to be the guy in the seat of that tractor. What happens if a thing dies? And what would happen in a catastrophic failure, because any mechanical device can fail, if the horses got back to the beginning of the track and that thing was still there? So I'm here at my first ever horse race at Oaklawn to meet the guy that drives that tractor, because he's got more guts than I have. Let's go meet him. This is Connor. And Carter drives that, and that is a tractor that pulls the gate away from the Oak Lawn racetrack. And Carter, you feel a little stress when you're doing that? Uh, from time to time, most of the time, it's just another day of work. Yeah. What what happens? I've wondered this since I was a kid. Any mechanical device can fail. The tractor dies in front of all these people with a gate out there. What do you do? Yeah, well, we got that backup tractor, so we hook the tractor that pulls the gates to the backup tractor, and it actually pulls the tractor and the gates off all at the same time. I got to ask you, has the backup tractor and the main tractor ever failed? Not that I know of. Okay, what would happen if that happened? Uh, well, the outriders would have to go pull, tell the riders to pull their horses up that way. None of them collided with the gate. You never had to do that. Thankfully not. All right, tell us about the tractors that you're running here, and how, how many hours you put on them a year? What kind of wear do they get? Um, a lot of it's just idle time, uh, really. Um, the tractor isn't very big for the amount of weight it has to pull, so I think they do more frequent oil changes and uh, regular maintenance for sure is very important. Um, they're all John Deere's, but uh, they're not the typical John Deere green. They're, uh, they call it oak lawn green. You have your own color here and you paint all the tractors that color. Yes. The, we got two new tractors that aren't oak lawn green right now, but here in the next few years, or next year, they'll have them done for sure. You, you said every tractor was John Deere. I've got to argue with you a little bit. This guy right here is not a deer. Not a deer. What, what's the story on him? Uh, I don't know. I know they buy all their tractors brand new, so I know at some point, they had bought that tractor and brought it here brand new off the lot, but I don't know. That's that, way before my time. I would say that, how, how old are you? It may have been before you I'm only 24. Yeah, probably before you were born. That's a, if, if my uh, tractor identification is right, that's a case I age uh, probably 695 or 895 maybe. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's yeah, all the old. decals are painted over, but it's got some age yeah, on it. For sure. Do you, do you enjoy driving the tractors? Kind of a rush when the, when the horses take off and you got to get the, the gate out of the way. I love it. Uh, you don't got a whole lot of time, and if something happens, you really got to know what you're doing. What's the worst thing that ever happened when you were in the seat of the tractor? Oh, uh, honestly, I've been lucky. I haven't had anything happen yet. And, and I'm trying not to jinx you. I hope this race, the eighth race at Oak Lawn that we're getting ready to have, goes smoothly. And I'll be I'll be out there videoing this for my audience. But for sure. I appreciate you telling us and enlightening us what this this job entails and uh, and how the backup would work if something went wrong. Oh yeah, it's been a pleasure. All right, thank you. Thank you. Well, we went down to Hot Springs a day early to kind of take in the sights. It's a beautiful little town. Uh, they have uh, water that's worn by geothermal energy. Uh, and, and baths and spas you can go to, which I didn't, but you can, and a mineral water that's supposed to cure what ails you. I spent most of the day on Friday, or a good part of the day, hunkered down in the basement of one of those spas, trying to avoid tornadoes that ripped through Arkansas. Our thoughts and prayers are with the folks around Little Rock, and 
I think the, kind of north and east of there that got hit. It, it was a bad day of weather on Friday. Uh, the race day was Saturday. You got to dress appropriately for one of these races. Well, I'm going to let some of the scenes from the race roll here, but before we start, the uh, backup tractor, the Case IH, is actually, I ran the serial number on it as 685, and it's a 1988 model, so it's definitely older than Connor. I had a great time at Oak Lawn. It's a great facility and uh, they had some good racing down there. I don't know anything about horse racing, but I'm just going to let the, the, the film I took down there roll and you see what kind of what it looks like whenever they're getting the horses out of the gate and the gate out of the way. It, uh, it was great fun being down there. They, uh, I want to thank the folks from Oak Lawn. They let me in next to the track. And if you've never been to a horse race, uh, even if you're not a big horse enthusiast, and I'm not, uh, when you have those animals running by at wide open full speed, it's pretty impressive. And uh, the guys that were running the tractors at, at Hot Springs were really nice to let me in and, and, and give me a front row seat to all that. So I appreciate that. If you ever get a chance to go to Oaklawn, go. Thanks for watching.